ALV Road to Mastery, Tulin. Who's your biggest nightmare when running low on health? That's right, Tulin. Oh, no! Tulin is a mage who's proficient at finishing off heroes with low HP. Tulin's ultimate refreshes on each successful kill, making him an uncaged beast in the arena, a beast with a talent for securing kills. Once he acquires his first kill, the rest of his opponents hit the ground like dominoes. Watch him dash, dash, dash around and over obstacles with his second ability. Think you can catch him? Good luck! By the way, Tulin has a variety of abilities and thus consumes lots of mana. Attention all junglers, behold as the Sage Golem is taken by Master Tulin. No, please don't do it! No! <laughs> to study the more advanced gameplay mechanics for Tulin, skip to the second half of this video. Learning the Basics Recommendations for Leveling Abilities Tulin's first ability outputs the most damage per level, so focus on building up that ability first. Afterwards, level up his second ability and ultimate as they become available. Combo Tips When preparing for a combo, remember that Tulin's passive can stack up to five times when he hits an enemy with an ability. Therefore, before entering battle, use minions to gain stacks quickly. Whoa! Try this combo. Use Tulin's second ability to get near a squishy enemy, then follow up with his first ability. If Tulin is face-to-face -face with an enemy hero, doing this can immediately get him five stacks of his passive. Follow up with his ultimate to complete the kill. If Tulin isn't close enough, he may only receive four stacks. But don't panic, challenger. Wait till Tulin's second ability is ready and use it to trigger his passive, then follow up with an ultimate for the kill. Combo sequence is as follows. Second Ability, First Ability, Second Ability, Trigger Passive, Ultimate. When Flicker is set as your hero talent, try using Flicker plus the Second Ability to charge forward instead of just the Second Ability alone. As the Second Ability has a relatively short distance and is easy to get away from, Flicker can help get in there to secure the kill. Go mid with Tulin and use Flicker. Most people assume Flicker isn't necessary since Tulin can dash three times using his second ability. Wrong! Since Tulin's second ability is used to deal damage most of the time, he can easily fall prey to an assassin with high mobility. In such a scenario, his life could be saved by a well-timed Flicker. Not only that, but Flicker can also help when positioning for an ultimate. Embrace the Flicker! What good is Tulin without the proper equipment? Choose only the best items to make him a monster on the battlefield. Be sure to grab some footwear first. The Gilded Greaves are your best bet unless facing a ton of physical damage. Then go for Sonic Boots instead. In order to sustain Tulin's presence on the battlefield, buy the Orb of the Magi as your second item. If your team is leading, however, get Rhea's Blessing instead and invade their jungle to take their Sage Golem. The lifesteal provided by Rhea's Blessing, along with the Sage Golem buff, can ensure Tulin stays on the battlefield for as long as possible. For the third item, go for Berith's Agony. Its passive complements Tulin's playstyle extremely well. You have two solid choices for the fourth item. With regards to survivability, the Aegis's cooldown reduction can help Tulin's mobility and overall damage output, while its armor can allow Tulin to survive more assassin attacks. If pure damage is what you seek, get an Arctic Orb. It also provides Tulin with an immunity effect that could save his life in clutch moments. Activating the Arctic Orb's immunity effect will not interrupt Tulin's ultimate. Since that's the case, Tulin can use his second ability to get close to an enemy, followed by his first ability. Finally, Tulin can then activate both his ultimate and the immunity effect to overwhelm his opponent. Equip Hecate's Diadem as the fifth item to further increase Tulin's overall damage. The sixth item can be either the Staff of Newell for additional magic penetration, or if the enemy has low magic defense, then the Holy of Holies can be used instead. 
Note that when facing heroes with exceptional health regeneration, such as Tara, Tulen should purchase a Tome of the Reaper as the fourth or fifth item in order to better counter them. Tulen's choice of Arcana is pretty straightforward. Go for the attributes that most mages prefer. This includes cooldown reduction, magic penetration, magic power, and magic lifesteal. For level 2 Arcana, go with Corruption, Revelation, and Corrosion. And for level 3 Arcana, go with Violate, Devour, and Hex. Advanced Gameplay With regard to two lens abilities, how about we share some tips for advanced players? First tip. Tulen can actually use his second ability while his ultimate is charging. When Tulen is presented with a situation that affords him the chance to nuke an enemy with his second ability and ultimate, you should do the following. First, activate his ultimate. While his ultimate is charging, use his second ability to damage the enemy before his ultimate is unleashed. This can allow Tulen to finish the kill much faster. Second tip. For more precise ultimate control, Newer Tulen users should adjust their avatar lock mode settings. Unhide avatars to see a list of available targets, allowing the ultimate to more accurately target specific opponents. Third tip, Tulen's first ability can acquire up to three stacks of his passive at once. Since the first ability spreads out in a cone shape, the closer Tulen is to the target, the higher chance he can land all three projectiles. Fourth tip, believe it or not, Tulen can be played as an assassin too. He can lie in wait in the brush near a sage golem or might golem and ambush an enemy jungler. Once the target's in range, use his first and second abilities to immediately gain five stacks of his passive. Thanks to the power of his ultimate, this combo can nuke down most of the squishier heroes. Fifth tip, Tulen's ultimate can be blocked by enemy heroes along its path. To avoid this, Use his second ability or flicker while charging the ultimate to reposition Tulen and adjust the ultimate's direction, making sure it comes into contact with that squishy hero you were aiming for. Go get him! Before entering a team fight, Tulen should frequently use his first ability to harass the enemy. As Tulen is a finisher, he should not immediately jump into a fight. Wait till the enemy uses up some of their more powerful abilities, then get in there using his second ability and take out a low HP target using his first ability and ultimate. When necessary, make use of Tulen's second ability to reposition him for a clear shot at a squishy hero. Once Tulen secured a kill, the cooldown of his abilities will be reduced, allowing for a newly charged passive to be summoned. Time to take down the next target. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later when Arena of Valor returns with the next Road to Mastery.